be a regular occurrence that a new weight loss drug enters the market and even more common that such high demand soon leads to a shortage of the drug. This week, Eli Lilly announced one of its drugs, ZepBound, would also help with sleep apnea, which adds even more to the already high demand. Christina Romans looks into whether production at the drug company can keep up. All across the country, America's relationship with weight loss is undergoing a dramatic transformation as drugs like Ozempic, Wagovi, Mountjaro, and Zebbound are changing the game. Their popularity is exploding with sales soaring over $11 billion in 2023 compared to about $4 billion the year before. And now demand is exceeding the supply. Here in North Carolina, a multi-billion dollar all hands on deck push to churn out Manjaro for diabetes and Zebbound for weight loss. A massive investment to bring injectables from this brand new Eli Lilly site to your pharmacy. So people, consumers out there who, are, who really are eager for these drugs will see product from here at their pharmacies in the spring, in January. And sometime next year. For sometime sure, yeah. next year. Not soon enough for the nearly 80,000 people now taking Zepbound in a shortage just five months after being approved by the FDA. It's the drug some Wall Street analysts say could drive the weight loss drug market to $100 billion a year. Is that a function of just demand that is so great for these drugs that you're really scrambling to keep up? It is the demand that's causing this. And again, we, we, we are working so hard every day to make sure that we increase that capacity as fast as we can to get these medications in patients' hands. Amanda Chella says this new class of GLP-1 weight loss drugs has changed her life. It has been a game changer. Food noise is unrelenting. Um, it's when right. all of your thoughts just completely revolve around food. And the GLP-1 medications, they, they shut it off like a switch for me. And I feel, I feel free. I feel like I'm no longer ruled by food anymore. I feel like I can just live my life. I feel normal. And with the Zepbound shortage, I'm just, I'm not willing to struggle again. I'm not willing to suffer again. But it's become a part-time job to fill her prescription. I just Googled Walmart pharmacy in New Jersey. And I just went down the list and I called every single Walmart in the state of New Jersey. Nobody had it. So then I started focusing on Pennsylvania, Philadelphia specifically. No one had it there either. I tried a few mom and pop shops. I've tried hospital pharmacies. I could not find it within the state of New Jersey. When do you think Zepbound will be in, uh, you know, more better supply? For the near term, we are going to be in this limited availability, which may cause delays across some of the doses for both Monjaro and Zepbound. Um, outside of near term, it's very challenging to right. predict when you know it's going to be full on. So I would say that um, just for the near term, we are expecting limited availability. But thousands of patients, like Amanda, facing the risk of having to start all over again months down the road.